Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing great. My name is Jacob and I'm a cancer survivor. To start, I wanted to extend a sincere word of thanks to the Canadian Cancer Society. You guys have supported me throughout my entire journey and it means a lot to me to be able to give back to you and support the Relay Rally event. My story starts around six years ago. I'm a grade six student at Elmdale Public School in Ottawa, playing sports, working hard at school, hanging out with friends, doing all the grade six stuff, when I started to develop some symptoms. Over the course of around a year and a half, these symptoms got exponentially worse and worse until they were affecting my day-to-day -day life. Symptoms included hand tremors, loss of balance, loss of strength, and frequent migraines almost every single day. And these had an enormous impact on sports, on academics, and on my life as a whole. To the point where I could no longer drink out of a cup, I couldn't eat with utensils, and I couldn't write my name on a piece of paper. So my family and I decided to go get an MRI, which revealed a brain tumor. Four days after the diagnosis, we went into Sick Kids in Toronto to get a brain surgery done as a biopsy and to relieve some pressure building up in my brain. But they weren't actually able to remove the tumor due to its inoperability. So when we got back, we were put on a 70 week chemotherapy protocol, meaning that for every Friday for my grade seven and eight year, I'd go into CHEO and get a dose of chemotherapy. I still remember every single time, 9 a.m. popping down to the medical day unit at CHEO, getting the dose of chemotherapy, and then trying to build up the energy to go back to school in the afternoon. Ever since then, I've had the chance to speak at a lot of events and support a lot of causes pertaining to cancer research. It means a lot to me to be able to tell my story at all these events and to be able to support this cause that's so close to my heart. I still have frequent MRIs to this day and I still have a brain tumor that's stable, but I'm not quite out of the woods yet. So I wanted to extend this huge word of thanks to you guys for allowing me to speak at your Relay Rally event means a lot to me, and you guys are joining a global movement to end cancer. Hi, Mr. Tennant. I relay for my sister-in-law who died of breast cancer in her 30s. Why I relay? I relay because cancer touches us all. In my life, it's been my grandparents, both my grandma and grandpa had cancer. Two close friends, Heather and Karen, have both had cancer. And I don't want cancer. I don't want my parents to have cancer. I don't want my kids to have cancer. I don't want my husband to have cancer. And if we do, I want someone to have the research and knowledge of how to help us. So I really like to give back. I really like to help. And I really like for everyone that has had cancer impact their lives. I relay for the hope that a cure can be found as soon as possible. I relay for both my grandpas and so that one day we can find a cure and end this terrible disease. I relay for my great grandparents, my grandma, and anyone whose life is being affected by cancer. I relay for my grandpa and my aunt and for myself and for all those other men who find themselves in a situation like me uh, and need the support of the Canadian Cancer Society. I relay for my mom who will be five year cancer free this summer, for my neighbor who wasn't so lucky, and for all of those in our community currently fighting uh, in especially uncertain times. I relay for you. Hey Beavers, I relay for my Nana. She was gone too soon. I relay for my mom and my father-in-law and for every person who's heard the dreaded words, you have cancer. I relay for my cousin, Max. Relay for Life is such an incredible event. I feel so honored to be part of an amazing community that always finds a way, even in the middle of a pandemic, to raise money for this cause. I know that each year that I've participated, it feels like more and more people in my life have been affected by this crazy, awful disease. I know that each and every one of you feel the same. So let's do it again. Let's work together and let's raise money for cancer. Hey everybody, I wanted to let you know why Relay is close, so close to my heart. I Relay for my family members who we lost too soon, who I miss dearly. 
but also relaying for those who are struggling now, friends and family, those who may struggle in the future. Uh, I truly feel over the years that we've done this that I have made a difference uh, and I'm hoping to continue that. I relay for my mom's coworker Mary and to find the cure for cancer. I relay for my Uncle Popeye, my Aunt Joey, my great-great-grandmother and both my great-grandparents and every single family out there who has had to deal with cancer. I relay for my family and friends who have battled cancer. Some have lost, some have won, and some are still in the battle. Ultimately, this is my act of hope that we can end these battles and they won't have to be fought anymore. I always support Relay because to me it means there's more hope. I relay for my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my grandfather, my uncle, and all the other people who have been hurt by cancer. We relay for our family because no one should go through it alone. What is Relay for Life? Relay for Life is a community-based fundraising event for the Canadian Cancer Society, which is the only national charity that supports Canadians with all cancers in communities across the country. This charity funds groundbreaking research, provides a support system for those affected by cancer, shapes health policies to prevent cancer, and supports those living with this terrible disease. Why is our school doing Relay for Life? Aldi's says this Relay for Life is going to look a little different this year, but that doesn't change the impact we plan on making. We are doing Relay for Life because it brings our closer community even closer with all ages celebrating the survivors in the community who spread a powerful message of hope for those living with cancer. This event is also in place to honor and remember those we've lost to cancer. And even though LDSS's Relay event is held for the community, we will be joining thousands of people across the country who have shown up for their communities. Our goal is to show that together, we are bigger than cancer. There will be team activities, cahoots, the LDSS band, virtual ceremonies, live speakers, a cancer survivor video, bingo, virtual scavenger hunt, just dance, prizes, staff challenges, music, luminaries, grab bags, and much more. So once you reach the Relay for Life website, you're going to click sign up on the top right. Now you're going to scroll down and see view all youth events at post-secondary and high schools in your province across Canada. Once you've reached this page, you can scroll down to Ontario, scroll down even further and find Laura Dorchester Secondary School. Now once you've reached the sign up page, you can choose one of three options. You can become a team captain, join an existing team, or take part as an individual. Next, you're going to click Create an Account. There's zero sign-up fee, but if you wish, you can also purchase a $10 t-shirt included with your account creation that goes directly to your fundraising goal. Once you're signed up and reach your fundraising page, you can copy your donation link and send it to friends and family to help you reach your donation goal. Once your Relay for Life account is set up, your next step is gonna be fundraising as much money as you can. The best way to do this is to log into your Relay for Life account and visit your personal page. From there you will find a link that you can copy that will bring other people to your fundraising page. You can then copy this into your text messages to send to family and friends to allow them to donate. Another way to spread the word is through social media. Posting to your Instagram and Facebook will let other people know that you are participating in Relay for Life and looking for donations. This year, our school has set a fundraising goal of $15,000. Each milestone along the way, a different teacher has volunteered to participate in our Hat Full of Whipped Cream Challenge. Once we reach our goal of $15,000, Evan Gillies and Mr. Pollard have volunteered to shave their heads, so let's make it happen, Beavers. The students that raise the most money will be awarded prizes, and any student that participates will have a chance at winning a prize. Our event is going to take place on June 11th and our goal is to have as many students as we can participate. And the most important goal that we have is to raise money for anybody who's been affected by cancer financially or to help the Canadian Cancer Society find a cure or a more stable treatment. If you or anyone you know has ever been affected by cancer, you should really consider signing up for this event. I hope to see you there, Beavers.